Washington, D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray is determined to show that he is more than just talk when it comes to engaging Africans living in the area, a group that, that comprises about 11 percent of the city's population. Among the many ways Major Mayor Gray is engaging the African community is through the Office of African Affairs, which has organized several events, including this recent town hall meeting. Mayor Gray met with African residents and listened directly from them about their concerns. Now on Friday, the mayor is launching a new business initiative for Africans interested in business to network and learn about resources for starting or growing their business and doing business in Africa. And for more on the mayor's efforts to engage the African community, we are joined by Ngozi Mezi, the executive director of the Washington, D.C. Mayor's Office on African Affairs. So good to have you back. Thank you for And I see you, uh, you you're being kept pretty busy. You've got a lot of things going on. Absolutely. Tell us about this initiative, um, From D.C. to Africa, Growing Local, Going Global. Wonderful. So the initiative was really kicked off because of a ton of information that we ended up getting back from the community due to needs assessments that we conducted in mm -hmm. FY11. Um, so community members had expressed concern around, um, you know, specifically accessing different information and services and resources pertaining to business development and growth of their businesses here in the District of Columbia. So it's OAA's program programmatic response to uh, community members, specifically African business community members, around um, the issues and things that they need um, to be addressed um, via a seminar approach. So how will this um, initiative exactly tackle that? It brings business people together, local African businesses, mm -hmm. with, with um, federal government and local opportunities from the Washington, D.C. area. Absolutely. So uh, specifically how we're planning on contact or, or actually tackling that, excuse me, would be through um, actually convening a lot of uh, different uh, district government agencies mm -hmm. as well as uh, federal partners and nonprofit agencies um, that are responsible for actually providing information, resources and services to to district businesses that are here in the District of Columbia. So just a few examples of a few agencies that we'll actually have as a presenting partners would be the DC um, Small Business um, Administration, which is a federal agency. Mm -hmm. And we also have the DC Department of Local Small um, Business Development, mm -hmm. the DC Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs, um, the Office of Contracting and Procurement. I mean, there's a slew of them. I don't want to go into a yes. list of who will actually be present, yeah, and, but tons of them. The event is all day, so I know there are a lot of, uh, I, I read the program, I saw there are a lot of things being planned. Why now? Well, I think it, it's timely. I mean, the mayor has just launched the Export DC initiative in February, um, which is really in line with the presidential mandate of doubling exports by the end of 2014. And essentially, that Export uh, DC initiative will help businesses that are already exporting increase their export, or businesses that are interested in starting an export mm -hmm. to give them the capacity to do so. Also, I mean, it's a wonderful time for the African diaspora and the African migrant community. Um, there's always been this propensity for them to want to do business over on the continent where they're from in their country of origin, but we want to help them be more impactful with their efforts, right? Um, we know that there's been tons of research that has revealed that the African migrant community has contributed through recorded remittances to the tomb of $40 billion. So we want to ensure that they're actually leveraging their resources here in the District of Columbia to make their efforts more impactful on the continent. What's in it for DC? Um, so it's, it's, it's important for us. Street, you absolutely, know that. absolutely. Um, I would say um, job creation, right? If we have uh, new businesses that are coming, that are developing, that are growing, we're expanding DC's tax base, and then we're also creating jobs uh, through these new businesses that will end up popping up and, and, and hopefully thriving here in the District of Columbia. And obviously, Africa is a very um, lucrative and promising place right now. And just reading one of the statements that you released, the next frontier, I guess this is one of the discussion mm -hmm. talking points. More than one in two institutional investors see Africa as the most attractive region to invest in the next decade, with one in three expecting to put at least 5% of their portfolios into the continent by 2016. Yes. How much would uh, DC expect to be part of that? Well, I think that um, it's, it's difficult to quantify, but D.C. is definitely wanting to be involved. Um, the mayor has really expressed his interest in um, you know, international business mm -hmm. as a newer frontier for um, different um, economic development revenue and streams to the District of Columbia, um, possibly even using the sister city agreements as a, a said way to actually make that happen. So I think that the district will be very much involved moving forward, um, and it's really timely, and it really kind of shows the direction in which we're going with this program that we're putting on on Friday. Now, D.C. is going through a, a, a little bit of an adjustment right now. Just from a lot of reports you're hearing that there's a lot of kind of uh, uh, people moving out mm -hmm. of the district, especially blacks. Mm -hmm. 
what is, um, is, is that part also of the mayor's intention to try and retain more black people within Washington, D.C., to revive the community on that respect? And also, what is the potential conflict that might come out of initiatives such as this targeting this particular community? Mm -hmm. So this initiative, it's, um, it, it does target the community, obviously, because our office is putting it on, and we're legislatively mandated to serve the African community. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, we made the reach wider because there are people that aren't um, African immigrants or, you know, that aren't African migrants that mm -hmm. still would be interested in, in business on the continent. So we want to make sure that we're actually engaging everyone so that everyone is actually a part of this program, able to learn about how they'd be able to do business on the continent. In terms of the um, migrant or the um, black community moving out, actually, it's interesting enough, what hap what's happening in the African immigrant community is there's been an increase um, with the, the African, African immigrant in the African. The black yes. Um, so there has been an increase um, in the African immigrant population. And in, 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 in fact, Randy Capps um, just did a wonderful article in the um, Washington Examiner where he spoke about um, the African immigrant community actually increasing at the at the fastest rate at about 30% right. amongst the other African immigrants or and the other immigrant communities. Well, there's a lot to say. Well, uh -huh. thank you so much, uh, Ngozi. No You're worries. always here and always have, um, you know, keeping us very plugged mm -hmm. in what's going on. That's, of course, Ngozi Mezi, the executive director of the Mayor's Office on African Affairs here in Washington.